If you work with battery connectors, cables, or other battery accessories, chances are at some point in time you'll find yourself working on or near a battery. Working with lead acid batteries is generally safe, but because of their chemical makeup, they are inherently hazardous. This program will provide you with some simple guidelines to follow that will keep you safe and out of harm's way. Batteries contain sulfuric acid, a highly corrosive liquid capable of producing explosive hydrogen gas. Even when a battery is not in operation, it is self-discharging hydrogen gas. Therefore, it is important to store a battery in a well-ventilated area. Always wear protective eye, face, and hand protection when working on or near batteries. It's a good idea to keep an acid neutralizing solution nearby in case of an acid spill. And because of life's little surprises, it's definitely a good idea to keep a spare set of nitrile or rubber gloves and safety glasses in the glove compartment or stored away in your vehicle somewhere. Keep all sparks, flames, and cigarettes away from batteries. They could cause the battery to explode, which could be very dangerous for you and anyone around the battery. Also, be very careful when working with metallic tools or conductors. Should you inadvertently cross terminals or connections, you could short-circuit the battery or the power source, or worse, you could cause sparks and... It goes without saying, but keep children away from batteries and battery acid. Sulfuric acid is highly corrosive and can cause blindness and severe burns. Never lean over the battery while boosting, testing, or charging. Step aside as far as you can in case of explosion or acid spill. Always check the battery for leaks and cracks before handling the battery and never jump start a cracked or leaking battery. It has the potential to explode. To prevent the hydrogen gas from building up, lead acid batteries come equipped with either removable vents or non-removable vents. Never try to open a battery with non-removable vents. Keep removable vents tight and level when servicing electrolyte. Lead acid batteries can be quite heavy. Be sure to lift the battery with both hands using the proper carrying apparatus if provided. When it comes time to jump start your dead vehicle, there are some common sense reminders to follow. Before connecting jumper cables to either vehicle, be sure both vehicles ignitions are in the off position and that the vehicles automatic transmission is in park. For vehicles with manual transmissions, be sure it's in neutral and the parking brake is on. If using a rescue booster pack, be sure the booster pack's on-off switch is in the off position. Be sure to read the owner's manuals for both your vehicle and the booster pack before jump-starting the vehicle. For specific instructions on how to jump-start a vehicle using a booster pack, see the video entitled How to Jump-Start a Vehicle Using a Rescue Booster Pack on QuickHowTo.com. Never disconnect a vehicle's battery while the engine is running. Doing so will cause a voltage surge and damage the vehicle's electronic system. When removing the battery, always disconnect the cable on the negative terminal first, then the cable on the positive terminal. When installing a battery, reverse the order. Connect the positive terminal first, then connect the negative terminal. Even while following all the necessary safety precautions, accidents still happen. So what does one do if battery acid gets in the eyes or on the skin? Immediately rinse them with clear water or Quick Cable's Quick Emergency Eye and Skin Wash or Portable Eye Wash stations. Then consult a physician right away. As you have just seen, working with lead acid batteries does have some risks. But following these simple guidelines will help keep you safe. For more information on rescue booster packs, batteries, and material handling products, visit quickhowto.com.